Hello guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. Again, I am your boy Damar and this is Nikki. And today we have a video. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we have a video. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. I'm your boy Damar and this is Nikki. And today we have a video. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Alright, go on. Hey guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. This is your girl Nikki and this is Damar. And today. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. This is your girl Nikki and this is Damar. And as you know, it's exam season, so everybody is preparing for exam. So in this video, we're just going to give you guys some general tips and well wishes to get the best possible results. So stay tuned. So the first tip for today is to have a balanced diet. Everybody loves food, right? But food has its benefits. It provides nutrients such as glucose that your brain needs to process things things and also to improve your memory so ensure you're eating properly during the exam season right another thing to take note of guys is the amount of sleep that you take so sleep is super important so you should get as much sleep as you can so when i say to get as much sleep i don't mean to sleep out all the nights and don't study for your exam i mean to take adequate or get adequate amount of sleep which is imperative for your focus as well as your neurological function um, studies have shown that it you require at least seven hours of sleep per day to like function normally and properly so if you are going to do an all-nighter and you're not going to get any get any sleep you're starving yourself of sleep as I put it it's really not good for you because you can crash so the best thing to do is try to work in the time frame that you have and try to get adequate amount of sleep so the next tip is to find your zone now everybody functions differently right so some might want to study in quite a quiet environment so you may choose to go to the library some prefer to listen to music while they're studying or some people work best in groups so it's important for you to find your zone and to find out what works best for you and to stick with that right another important thing guys is to stay organized so it's very hard to keep on top of your courses and all the different things that you have to do. That's super hard and we get that because we're going through this as well. But you have to stay organized. So it makes no sense to say, okay, I'm studying one lecture for this, one for this, one for this, and try to study four different things at one point. The best way that I retain things is when I stay organized by putting things together. So I'm not going to start one lecture for, say, for instance, cardio, and then I jump to start another lecture about digestive system, like immediately after that. So I try to work up with the cardio so you get a basis of what is going on in the entire area. Then you can move on to another course per se. So you just have to stay organized with that, your courses as well. If that works for you, that works for me. But if that works for you, if that don't work for you, that's fine. But stay organized, your notes, put them in a book for a specific course. Don't have a book with every different courses. I do that. So, and I get really confused because I have a book with four different courses. And when I'm searching for something, I might not find it. But if I had a book with one here, one here, it would probably be better. And I'm just also learning how to be organized as well. So, staying organized is super important. Oh. Additional to what Nikki said, if being organized means that you need to create a study timetable and follow it to the T, then do what you must, all right? So study timetable can be beneficial because you can look at how many information you need to go over before exam and then create it um, for that specific course and for that specific lecture. Right, and guys, do not just create the timetable to put it up on your wall to make it seem like you're studying. Follow the study timetable and do not leave it alone like some persons. But moving on from that, <laughs> another point is to do not cram. 
cramming equals crashing so do not try to get as too much information in your head at once try to take breaks between your study period give yourself a reward do something for say oh i completed three lectures hoo hoo give ice your, cream right ice cream <laughs> music watch a little clip of a movie stuff like that do not cram because cramming equal crashing excellent all right so take your break as nikki said so, and give your brain enough time to process the information all right just don't go 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 all right so the last thing is to do practice questions practice questions helps because when you go through this question you know what is your weak area what you need to look back what you weren't so clear on right to get you know the best grades possible you need to know where you fall short and where you're strong right and practice questions are also super important because you get a feel of what the exam is going to be like right so you can swap the entire 50 lectures that you have and you still cannot apply what is said so you can know everything oh what is a cell a cell is so and so and so and so and so and so but when you get a question to explain something when it comes to the concept of using the cell in a scenario you don't know what to do so the practice question will help you with this to show you how to apply yourself and what is expected of you right all right so go online there are questions there online multiple choice everything just trying to practice as much as you can in the time you're given right and just remember do what works for you and another sad thing to say guys is that this is our last 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 saturday video for the year and we're sad to say that we don't have any fridays or saturday videos anymore until january but we'll come fresh and everything because you know we may look chirpy and fine and <laughs> laughing but, but we're stress. <laughs> we're, well, the stress is here it yeah. is here so we're basically dying but yeah. <laughs> So we're taking some time, you know, to prepare adequately for our exam. So we'll definitely see you in the new year. Right. right. <laughs> and Excellent. all the best on your exams. And I hope you guys get all the A's, that perfect GPA and stuff. We're wishing you all the best on your exams. Excellent. And guys, we won't leave you guys short. Guess what? We still have Med in a Minute on Sundays. So it's not like we're just going to be dormant and leave you guys alone. There is Med in a Minute every Sunday at 7 p.m. So stay tuned for that. And still continue to watch our previous videos. Watch them again and everything. And see the niceness that we did over, <laughs> the, over the summer through to December. And just stay tuned. We wish you the best as Damar said. And we, we know that you guys are wishing us the best too. Okay? So until next year, see, see you soon. soon. Bye. Bye.